Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to talk about how we can use Autodesk Inventor's Design Assistant to rename a file that's been misnamed. Before I get started, a word of warning. If you're using Autodesk Vault and the file is checked into Vault, use Vault's Rename tool to rename the file. You'll have file resolution issues otherwise. However, if you haven't checked the file into Vault, or you're not using Autodesk Vault to manage your data, then it's game on. This can be a really great tool to help you out. So now, let's talk about what we're going to do. Here I have my project. It's a prairie style sofa in this case. And I've made a mistake. I've got this corbel that I've indicated in cyan, and what's happened is when I created the component inside the assembly, I accidentally accepted the default name of part one. I don't want to have it named that, it doesn't make any sense, so now I need to quickly and easily rename it. I haven't checked this file in Vault yet, and I don't want to check it into Vault just to rename it. I'd rather do that ahead of time. So this is where Design Assistant can help us out. With Inventor closed, I'm going to go to Windows Start, All Programs, Autodesk, my Inventor version, in this case 2013, and there I can choose Design Assistant. Once Design Assistant starts, I can go ahead and choose the open icon and browse to the assembly that contains the component that I want to affect. It'll go ahead and open up and I'll make sure to choose the Manage tab so I see the correct grid and now I see a list of all the files in this assembly. Next, I'm going to browse through the tree until I locate part one. This is the component I need to rename. To begin the process, I'll right click in the cell under the action column and choose rename as my option. Now I need to find the name and I can right click on that cell and choose change name. Now I go ahead and change the name of the part to whatever part I want. Go ahead, accept that, and then save inside of Design Assistant. Once that's done, I can go ahead and I can close Design Assistant now. Now, I can go ahead and open up Inventor and open the assembly that I've just worked on. There's no file resolution issues because Design Assistant let the assembly know that the component was renamed. So there we are. Another way you can go ahead and rename files, particularly if a file is not in Vault or if you're not using Vault. That's it for this weekend's video. Thanks for taking the time to watch, everyone.